Welcome to Phone Phenom. Every Tuesday, 5 o'clock Central Standard Time. I love coming and hanging out with you guys. This is one of my favorite shows every single week. I am coming to drop some bombs, some major bombs, on how to be a master of the telephone. And today, it's about three simple steps, right? Three, and let me know if I need to re-angle this, Dylan. Three simple steps, right? If I took the essence of an entire appointment phone call and broke it down into three simple steps for setting an appointment over the phone and setting that appointment ideally and perfectly, what would that look like? What would those three steps be? If I wanted to communicate to you right now and jump in with some comments on on, on Facebook and YouTube today, what would be those three steps? If I wanted to communicate that, in essence, three simple steps for you to break down a telephone call. When I set appointments and I do live dials and all these other things that we do, it comes back to three things, right? So what are those three things and how can you incorporate those in your business and communicate those consistently so that you can drive results? The first thing is you have, have to nail the intro. The intro is the most important part of the call. Most people jack it up, right? They ask about, hey, I'm looking for so-and-so, or are you so-and-so, light? Or they're not confident, or they're like, my first and last name from this such-and-such insurance agency. Like, no one cares, right? You don't even care most of the time, right? So what do you think they think? So nail the intro. The intro's got to be good. There's got to be an opening phrase that you always say. I'm getting back to you about blank, right? It's got to be simple. It's got to be short. Nailing the intro is imperative also think about intro, right? And you're like, okay, I can process the intro. I know what I'm saying. I know what I'm doing. I know how to make it freaking right. High and tight, right? The next thing is know the purpose. What's the purpose of the call, right? In this case, it's to set an appointment. So let's ask for an appointment, right? If you want an appointment, don't vomit everywhere, say a bunch of stuff, and tell them what they need to know and ask stupid stuff or, or not ask questions at all or, or, or tell them stuff. Like I, you, you fill out a lead form and said you wanted to like, they don't even know what a lead form is. Quit saying stuff like that. Or you hit our website, who cares, right? None of that matters. You don't need proof to back it up. Just tell them, right? Educate them instead of, people do business with people that educate them, right? We learned about that at the retreat. Instead, know the purpose, right? I'm getting back to you about this. Ask a question. So that's why if it's to set an appointment, then set an appointment. I don't know why I'm adding dots, but I'm enjoying it today. Know the purpose and then end with a question. Too many agents fail on this point, right? They have a crappy intro. They don't know the purpose. They're not, which means, which means if you don't know the purpose, you are not, in essence, you're not in control, right? I believe in being in freaking flat out control to be a machine. Know the purpose so that you're in control because if you don't know the purpose, you're not in control, right? And then end with a question. 99% of insurance agents, if I if I surveyed 100 agents and I, and I listened to what they were saying, 99% of them would do it incorrectly, right? Which is why we provide all that free information every day with our leads. What would you say, right? Because most people, most people, most agents, here's the wrong call. Here's the wrong way to end a appointment setting call. You filled out your information and said you wanted a quote to buy life insurance. And then you pause. (laughs) Oh, and I cringe. Oh, and I want to smack myself in the face for for not like communicating that across to you guys. Because what happens is you end up sitting there, you stop talking. That, That part's okay, but the way you stop talking is wrong, man. It's so wrong. You end up not finishing with a question. You tell them what you think they need to know. And you don't say anything else. Like, hey, you fill out a lead, you fill out your information saying you wanted a quote to buy life insurance. Agents will never understand. No one fills out 
a quote to buy life insurance. No one fills out information to buy life insurance. Like agents, if you think that's what a lead is for, you're wrong. They don't do that. They show a level of interest and it's your job to get the level of interest to a buyer level, right? With every single, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a level of interest, right? We call it the LOI here, or at least we do now because I made that up, whatever. Which is, all right, I am a buyer or I just want a little amount of information. I don't even care. You know what? Maybe, maybe I'll see somebody. I don't really know. Maybe, maybe I want to quote, I'm buying, right? This person, you're telling them they want to buy life insurance and they don't know that they want to buy life insurance yet. So instead, quit saying dumb stuff and finish with a question, which is, hey, which is the bonus, which brings us to number four, right? I'm going to give you a bonus today. I give you bonuses almost every time, don't I? I give you more than you paid for this ep- for this episode. I guarantee it. Um, would you agree with that statement, Dylan? That we're giving them more than they paid for with for yeah, this? Yeah, I would. Yeah, see, even Dylan would agree we with don't that. Even monetizing That's true. We don't monetize videos yet at all. I, I don't believe in it. Um, bonus. What's the bonus? Right? People like choices. They they even heart their choices. Right? They love choices. So now the choice is morning or afternoon. You said, well, Cody, why? Why don't you do days, right? Because I'm going to be out there a certain day. I'm in their area on a certain day. Urgency now. Which is it? Right? I'm getting back to you about your request for the new filing expense information, right? It was on Facebook. You put your favorite color was red. I'm assuming you remember that, right? Yes, I, I do. Like, no one's ever told me. Dylan. When I've asked that question, how many times have they told me I do not remember what you're talking about? Good majority. Yeah. So instead, can keep going, right? And then end up jumping into I'm gonna I'm the local guy, I'll be in your area on Friday. Should I drop this off in the choices, right? Morning or afternoon. People like choices. We've been going about eight, ten minutes now. People like choices. Right? So let's hear, let's have some questions jump in. I want to see, even if I don't read them out loud, I'm going to go back and read them afterwards. So I want some interaction. There's the bonus. Give them options, right? So, in essence, what, what do we talk about on phone phenom, about being a freaking phone phenom, and what does that look like? Nail the intro. Check. Like, practice it, role play it, quit sucking. Know the purpose so that you're in control of the call. Know the purpose of the call, please. And end with a question. Like if you just got those three things down, you could call up someone that was interested in life insurance and it wouldn't even matter what you said as long as you would nail these, right? John, this is Cody. I'm getting back to you about your request for life insurance information. I'm the local guy. I'll be in your area on Friday. Should I drop this information off? What do you think, in the morning or in the afternoon? He may not even be a life insurance buyer yet, but it don't even matter. Like if you just freaking knew what to say and how to say it, it's actually more important than the structure of the call is more important than what you say. I would say that's more important. And both of those are more important. What you say and how you say it are better than their level of interest, right? Because I get appointments with people that have high levels of interest and I get appointments with people that have no level of interest or very low, right? They fill out the form. It's up to the agent to convert them. And if you're good on the phone and you understand how to overcome objections, like pe- people say, well, well, I get not interested, right? I get it sometimes too. I get, I'm not ready. I get, I want to think about it. I get, call me back. I get, think, put it in the mail. I get, you see all these live dials I do, right? I just a couple weeks ago, I did one, uh, two and a half weeks ago, or whatever. I did uh, in front of like 800 people, private, live. No one knew we were doing that. And... I got results. I spoke to eight people and set six appointments because I know how to get the appointment. And this is the steps. If you want a simple process that gets results, bada bing, bada boom, step inside the room. This is it, man. I'm telling you. Phone Phenom is where it's at. I love hanging out with you guys. I love 
bringing the knowledge to you every Tuesday, 5 o'clock Central Standard Time on Phone Phenom. If you're not following me on Instagram, you better do it. IG, Cody.Askins. Subscribe to our YouTube. Comment on our stuff. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on everything we do, right? Like, subscribe, even share the video. Maybe even tag somebody on Facebook. Appreciate you watching. I want to help you. My mission is to help every insurance agent in the world, and I'm going to start with you. Thanks for watching. We're going to do this every week, maybe for the rest of my life, right? We'll see you tomorrow for Q&A. Thanks for watching.